She most recently starred alongside Ewan McGregor, Ewan McGregor, in the Stephen King thriller Doctor Sleep. Well, now you can see actress Kylie Coran in Disney Channel's newest series, Secrets of Sulphur Springs. Let's take a quick look. How cool would it be to actually run into Savannah? But she's only been seen inside the hotel. And you never even tried getting in? Once, I cut my knee pretty bad crawling through a window. My mom's still ticked about it. If you want, I could give you a tour. We'll have a seance. A seance? Uh-huh. Um, we'll need lots of candles. Pink. Way more inviting. And Kylie is joining us live. Good morning to you. Hi. Welcome. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? And we're doing well. So you're going to say it's a secret, probably. But what can you tell us about your new series, Secrets of Silver Springs? Well, it's very different for Disney, and there's a twist and turn at every episode, so you'll always be on the edge of your seat. Oh, oh that's, those are good little teases there. Um, for those who are excited about this, who do you play, and how would you describe your character? I play Harper, who is this artistic, mystery-obsessed girl who teams up with Griffin. So there is such an impressive group of young women in this show, right? Just taking a look at the cast. We start on Disney Channel shows. Miley Cyrus, Selena Gomez, Zendaya. What's it like to be part of all those names? It's so amazing to be a part of something so big. I never thought I'd be something in something like this, especially so for Springs. This is like a beginning of a new era. Yeah, of course. You know, all three of them, they also sing, and so do you. Actually, you were on Broadway in The Lion King, right? How fun was that, especially to take it from the Great White? Look at this. Here's a photo of you. So <laughs> cute. Um, and then take that on to the small screen. That's got to be a really fun transition for you. It was. I started off in theater, actually, and moving to film was quite different, but um, it, I love them both the same. I think they both have such an amazing vibe, and it's exciting to be a part of film and theater. So look, Dr. Sleep was huge. Byron, our meteorologist, huge fan of Dr. Sleep. Um, and so I'm just curious, because you know, you're playing another kind of like mysterious role here. In real life, you know, like when I, was a, when I was a teenager, I was big into like just trying to like find out mysteries around town, find out all the hidden secret spots. Are you, do you like have that passion? I do actually. Me and my, um, my neighbors, we'll go and explore forests and try to find things in the ground. We'll go to the park and see if there's like some sort of secret underground entrance. I'm really um, into adventure. Loved <laughs> Secret Underground entrance. By the way, Byron just walked in and went, thumbs up, she's great, and then walked right out. Um, but he just wanted to let you know that. Hey, so when Broadway, <laughs> do, yeah, Byron's loving this. When Broadway does reopen, can we expect to see you back on stage after that anytime soon? I hope so. I'd love to uh, start doing Broadway again. That would be amazing. Any particular show that you've always wanted to be a part of? I always wanted to be in Les Mis. It's one of my favorite oh. things. So okay. if I could when I'm older. One day more. I won't oh, sing. I won't go. sing, don't you? <laughs> uh, so um, you've been in that Stephen King movie. You have this new mystery series. You're talking about the secret underground, you know, spots you found in your real life. You, you're comfortable in this supernatural genre. So let me ask you, because I'm a big horror fan. Do you like kind of swing into that category too? Yes, I love horror. It's, I really want to focus on horror films and like supernatural, and that's Please why do. I love See, I'm a big scaredy cat. How is it that you're not afraid of this stuff? I think because I know what goes on behind the scenes and I'm always thinking about it, I don't really think about, um, you know, getting scared as much as interesting what's going on behind the camera. It's not real, Betty. <laughs> Betty's no, like, but wait a, a second, hold on a second. Yes, Betty's like, I got it in my... Show, I remember being, you know a teenager and just being so freaked out about oh, it yeah, and, yeah. and now in news that can be scary too because a lot of these horror shows now kind of are based on reality so that can be scary yeah that's that's something different um <laughs> when it's like based off of a true story i'll kind of like be a little scared and have nightmares a few nights because i'm actually thinking oh this happened in real life um okay but if it's like um fantastical horror that's not actually yeah true it's right. Different. So, um, yeah, I, I, I was when I, mean, I used to watch Unsolved Mysteries back in the early '90s. Mm -hmm. I would, I would, I would get so freaked out that like the person who was on the loose is going to come to my town, and you know, at a, they were like living, of course, like across the country. Right. Anyway, what is your favorite? Do you have a favorite horror film? I do. Um, Us by Jordan Peele. Actually. Yes. Um, yeah. When it came out, I went to the theater and watched it with my dad. I was terrified then. 
But it was such an amazing movie, and oh my gosh, Lupita Nyong'o is so talented. Oh my goodness. See, that's horror on a different level, because that messes with your mind. I yeah. mean, it's not just the typical blood and guts, and here comes a guy with an axe, right? That's, that's like psychological. Yeah, exactly. I, I love psychological. Now, tell me more about this secret underground tunnel that you found wherever you were exploring. I'm just... Well, um, there's this sewer behind my house. And it's like this giant tunnel. And um, the kids in my neighborhood, they actually went inside. I was way too scared. I don't like sewers. So I just stood at the entrance and watched them go inside. But yeah. it was like. Did they ever come out? It. Yes, they did. Okay, good. <laughs> just, just making sure it wasn't the secret of Silver Springs. You know, that's, the, that's what the yeah. show. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Kylie, let's bring in the whole team here. Uh, we got Marisol and Ben with us as well. So say hello to them. Howdy. Hi. Marisol. I mean, I just admire anyone with acting chops who has a their head like firmly placed on their body. So congratulations for being able to stay grounded and, and do all the things that you do. What's the toughest part of your job, would you say? Um, I'd say getting fully into character. I think it takes me a couple days to kind of absorb the character and really put her, play them well on the, on the screen. And um, also press. <laughs> press yeah. is scary. We are scary. Yes, we are. Were you scared here? We're not so bad. <laughs> no, this is fun. We're Talking so underground bad. tunnels. Yeah, right. I mean, we're not so. It also takes me a few days to get into character when I, I have to take the weekend to get back oh into the. Right. Oh my Who am God. I? Yeah, Who yeah, am I? Kylie, don't pay him. That, that, that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> Kylie, right. thank you so much. Congratulations. Congratulations on all your success. Thank you. You can check her out in the new Disney Channel series, Secrets of Sulphur Springs, this Friday.